I never said platforming was my forte. Less waiting, more motivating. All right. And this is another area where having. Can I actually get over there? No. Ah! Uh, this might be a little while. If I fail this one. There we go. Yeah, some of the controls are not easy to get used to, especially on the PC versus the PlayStation uh, remote controls. So, I mean, you can get used to it, but it's gonna hey, kid, take me a little. I think I see a silver dollar out there in that rail. Why don't you walk out there a bit and pick it up? Ha, sucker! See you at the bottom. All right. A lot of figments are gonna be on here. And unfortunately, I screwed up already and missed a few. So we're gonna definitely have to come back here later if we want them all. End of the line, sucker! Yeah, screw you. I just love how Raz just more or less stole that from Bobby Zilch. But hey, we finally got to punch the jerk in his face. Teleport options. If we wanted to go back, we don't. We'll do that for completion's sake later. Ah, the old rolling tunnel of crazy logs, bit. An old one, but a hard one. What you gotta do is... <laughs> <laughs> ah, who are we kidding? You're never gonna make it through that. <laughs> yeah, Raz is all about fucking trends here. It's like, he's gonna go through this even if you guys try and stop him. Because he's gonna be Raz, the Psychonaut. And believe it or not, this area isn't anywhere near as difficult as Coach Oleander makes it out to be. It's more about patience than anything else. And making sure you're not going too fast. Of course we got figments flying around, but we'll come back for them later. Notice how I'm saying we'll come back for them later a lot? That's because there's a lot of backtracking in this game. But that's what makes a game good in my opinion, is you gotta go back over and over again to make sure you get everything. We're at the end. Hello. We finished basic Hello? training. Hello. Guess I'm early. Give me a merit badge, or an actual medal. Ooh, what's this? More bunnies. Maybe it has something to do with the rabbits. Hold it right there, son! Now just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh. Sorry about that. Couldn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. Which does absolutely frickin' nothing. It's just, hey, you completed basic braining. But we get to see some of our future abilities on our back. Yeah, we, we don't kick ever. But okay. I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. As you can tell, way to the... make us look bad in there. You are in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggleicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Ooh, 
Razzus Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. Psychic powers, Raz. That's gonna be normal. And I also forget completely what I was gonna say thanks to the storyline. Thanks, game! I will say that this is actually one of my personal favorite features of this game. You can actually hold a bunch of different items in Raz's hand and ask different people about it. Matter of fact, we can even ask Coach Oleander about it right now. You know where this button is from, Coach? Hey! You stole a button from the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber! No, I didn't! I... Bobby Zilch gave it to me! Shoulda known. That kid spends more time in the cooler than in school. Reminds me of myself when I was his age. Well, go put it back! Yes, sir. Hey, Coach, where is the G? Don't you know how to use your map? Right, yes, sorry. And by map, he means up here. See, we got a little basic braining thing. See, so we got the kid's cabin, which tells us how many side challenge markers are in the area. We're actually missing a side card. I thought I collected them all. Oh, we'll find that eventually. We'll get to see all the special items and baggage and arrowheads and whatnot within this area. These are tasks that we're currently on. Memories, which is basically little storyline stuff. Here's the map. So this is the area we gotta get to now. To get to um, Sasha 9. And this is where we currently are. I think there's at least like one or two other kids about that we can talk to about the button. And I'm just rail grinding because it's rail grinding, it's fun. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm going to start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. What? Milka, you're a genius. Come on, Dogen. Invisibility. Hold on. We're going to get this that reminds me later, of a story. I think? Question it's mark? about counting. Hello? Bad. You guys are good. Psychic powers, dude. Isn't there a way to actually put my button away? Other than the escape button. There we go. Okay, so I can put away items with X, and then open up my inventory with I? You're not letting me, game. Game! On sale now in the main store, we have a special on Dream Fluffs. You hear me? Dream Fluffs. They're good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. Any luck finding those guys, Vernon? Nope. Not yet. Yeah, we don't want to talk to Vernon for too long because he'll just go on and on. As you see, a lot of the arrowheads out here respawn. I believe they respawn after every single level that you complete. They might even just respawn whenever you go into a mind and then come back out, so keep that in mind if you're needing arrowheads, which we will eventually need. Let's see, let's just collect like one or two more that I know are around here. And let's see about moving on. Let's see. Sorry about the small cut there, folks. Had a little bit of thing I needed to take care of real fast. But I think we should actually be ending this off soon, regardless anyway. I think we'll just stick to Little Miss Rated R movie here, just a little bit. 
You know, a nutcracker might be faster. Tonight, when this baby is full of fine ladies, I'm going to see everything. How are you gonna fill that nut with ladies? No, dude, the girl's cabin. I've got a man on the inside. I get it. You're using clairvoyance. You grabbed one of the squirrel's nuts, and now you're using clairvoyance on it to form a mental link and see what the squirrel sees. Um, could you say acorns instead of nuts if you repeat that to anybody else? Teach me how to do that. Hey, I paid a little bit of attention in class, but not that much. What you need is an expert in clairvoyance, where I am merely an expert in the ladies. We will be getting a clairvoyance power later on. Not as useful as you would think, but it's pretty cool. And it is required to get through at least one section of the game. Let's see, am I missing anything? I don't think so. So let's just bounce our way over here. I think we actually got enough airheads to move on, so let's move on to the next area and call it a day. Overall, there we go. Now we got these two blocking away instead of the other two. No dude. passing. But I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up. I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? I love how he actually yep. points to the That's indicator. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground, and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Again, I think there's a way to actually skip this area so where you don't need to pay them the arrowhead, but it's just one thing. Whoa there, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Yep, and now we'll be able to find different items throughout the world to actually get rank ups. These are actually hidden pretty well, and we actually saw one not so too where long do ago. I... Hey, where'd he go? How does that old guy get around so fast? Teleportation. Uh -uh, I'm actually serious. I think quite literally believe it's teleportation. All right, let's go ahead and see. I want to just want to go show one more thing, and then I think we'll call it. Blowing that up was not the thing I was wanting to show. I just did that for fun. Yep. And one more arrowhead. I cannot not collect the collectibles. Oh, hey, Lily. Hey, I forgot Lily. you were over here. Do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was. Because I do. Uh-huh. I don't think she's impressed with you, dude. So. Hey, if you were going to make a friendship bracelet, you could maybe use this button here. Why? So you could unbutton it and take it off when you got tired of being friends with me? Who said you were making it for me? Uh... You know, if you were going to shut up, you could use that button on your lip. How about that? Jeez. Yeah, Lily's got some issues. I'm gonna try my best to show off all the little interactions you can do with her. Not exactly easy, considering you can interact with all these characters like a bazillion and a half times throughout the levels. Matter of fact, I think you could even interact with them 
by Remember getting out of Coach Oleander's head earlier on. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. Yeah, let's go ahead and. Oop, that's not the entrance. This is the entrance. I want to do show off the store, show off the fact that these guys are doing the little fire thingy. This is going to be a very important room later. She's very, very shy. An expert of invisibility. But this is what's going to be most Excuse important for me. us later on. I told you the burgers ain't ready. Uh, no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not going to be done for a while. And maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs. And you can turn them in for Psy cards. As you can see, we can get a lot of items here. They're also ludicrously expensive. We're mainly going to be saving up for the cobweb duster, but the other stuff can be useful to us later on. Now with that, you can change the color of some of your Psy powers, like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, kind of a vanity thing. You know, in my day, Psy powers were all gray and we thought that was grand. We were happy just to have Psy powers. Ah, but you know kids these days. Mm-hmm. Customization. Really one of the earlier games to do it. Ah, now here's something every young Psy cadet needs. Uh, usually you explain it, dude. Essentially what this is, is a mental magnet. As long as we have this, everything will fly towards us instead of just laying on the ground. Now that Dawson rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. He it costs you money because it makes you money. Hey, I keep on forgetting they have extra lines there and there. He ain't kidding either. We will pretty much want to get this as soon as physically possible. Simply because that's going to be helping us pay for a lot of things. Getting that will pretty much allow us to go and get the cobweb duster a lot sooner. Now, you take that side core there, put it together with nine side cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new side challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. And more ranks give us more powers, uh, will buy us more items, and just generally very useful. For 100% completion, you'll need to buy these. Mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't go anywhere without a pocket full of those. Basically potions. That's the wrong button. That's it for now. All right. Go get more airheads and come on back. Support your local merchants. Yeah, we'll be back for the uh, dousing rod at the very least. But for now, I think that's enough that we can really show off of everything. Oh, I can put you You could get up there. Is there anything actually of importance up here? That would be a big fat noop. All right. Well, until next time, everyone. I think we'll go find uh, Sasha Nine Secret Lab which is clearly marked on our map. But until then, I think we'll see you all next time. Take care, folks.